I think horror films have a great, great function. Horror and horror, generally, are horror stories. We're all kind of fascinated by what's in the dark. Because we're scared of those things. What I do like about the horror genre is that um, it's something that I think Stephen King says. Um, in a horror film, you know, you, what you're basically saying is life is shit, and um, and and the audience knows that, and they're allowed to kind of see really bad things happen. I haven't read something that's kind of as, as taut as this, and economical, and scary. It's based on on. Tension. It's, it's based on uh, the unknown. It's more. It's like Twelve Angry Men. You know, you've got, you've got. Except we haven't got the budget, so it's seven slightly cross men. It's a very good story. Very clear story. And I think that Rob has worked um, very hard on telling the story, and he knows exactly how he wants it to be told. So his direction to me is very clear. I come in every day knowing exactly what's to be done. Firing guns. It's hugely expensive. It's a pound a bullet. Fire! After we, we would shoot a scene and the producers would literally go around and count the bullets and, and tally it up on the budget and they'd say to me, no, Rob, we'll do another take, but you can only do this take for 10 seconds. And, and literally every frame of, of bullet firing is in the movie because we just, you know, that's how tight it was. How cool is this? First positions, everybody, please. Check the score out. Look at that. Just makes me that little bit butcher. <laughs> Shoot him. The storyboard allows you to look very closely at the script and you start visualising the film. And it means you're looking at the film in detail and you spot things. You, 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 you spot uh, the beats in the scene. You, you spot stuff you don't get off the page. And I'll give you an example of that in the film, and you can cut to a clip right now. It had taken them three weeks, I think, to build the actual bunker. Parts of the bunker walls were already designed on the other side to just switch them over, lift them up, turn them into ceilings. Eight days it took to construct that entire tunnel system. The thing I enjoyed doing the most was working with the actors. Um, you know. You know, we wanted to really make them come to life as much as possible and and we, we worked hard with the casting and trying to get an interesting ensemble cast. Uh, so that that's my personal favourite thing, it's the thing I'm most proud of about the film. So that's the end of my interview for The Bunker. Uh, the Bunker, watch it. Great. Cool.